It's me like I ain't shit. Elders are for counsel. Young men are for war. If True. your future's lost, then goddammit, some old motherfuckers didn't do their goddamn job. And I'm suggesting to you old brothers, reach out and show these young brothers not only that you love them, but how much you love them. Because they're the only goddamn future we got. Mm. You can't trade them in for nothing. Mm. I say, I say. The fact of the matter is, if you want a better world, I suggest what Malcolm said. Malcolm said... Either you're part of the solution or part you're of the part problem. of the problem. But I got news for y'all. There's been a 21st century update on the real. Either you're part of the solution or, God damn it, you are the fucking problem. This is what we have to understand. See, we keep on a mass, I call it life masturbation. You playing with the problem, okay? Uh, Band-Aids ain't going to help. You got to get real or die. That's all that's left. Nobody on the planet gives a damn about us. Not even us. Now, that's the part I have a problem with because we can do something about that last part. See what I'm saying? I've been suggesting for a very long time if Africans just simply turn your love inwards. Learn to love you. First, learn to know your goddamn self first. Don't bring your unknown ass in our family circle. See what I'm saying? With that crazy shit, you know you want to bring me Jesus and other dumb ass shit. No, learn to know who the fuck you are from a divine perspective. I'm tired of you being the dumbest motherfuckers on the goddamn planet. Because that's not a divine decree. Stupidity is not a divine decree. God didn't make you stupid. You have to want to be stupid. You have to work to stay stupid. Now, if you ask an intelligent African, they'll tell you that's way too many en much energy fucked off on just being stupid. Why don't you spend your time wisely and be who the hell God puts you here to be? I say. If this world is ever going to be a better place, I guarantee you, I'll stake my life on it. That you've got to change it. If it's ever going to be a better place, it's because we make it so. If it's ever going to change for the better, we've got to do it. Speak, speak. God put you here to teach the world, not to take lessons. Here we are in the 21st century sitting at the feet of the motherfuckers who just crawled out the cave yesterday talking about you getting the goddamn education. They can't educate you, nor is it their desire. If you just pay attention to what the hell has been going on. You see what I'm saying? They got you so fucked up after you done paid three, four, five years of goddamn college, you come out and don't know who the fuck you looking in your goddamn mirror at. You should be embarrassed. Heavy. Matter of fact, the teachers, the university instructors should be embarrassed. Mm. They have black children coming out not who the fuck knowing who the fuck they are. Right. Well, well, well. All this money. Right, but actually, should they uh, should they be embarrassed? Aren't they doing their job to keep us ignorant? Uh, you're right. That's what I'm about to address. They're doing their job. Their job. But you see, I wrote, I wrote a song that deals with that kind of. It says. You got brothers and sisters who work in these high-paying jobs, making a whole lot of money. But see, being me being a homeless veteran, I addressed a whole lot of these problems from the low end. Mm. Just to see, since I've already paid the goddamn price. Mm. See what I'm saying? Mm. I went like against what Ali and them told us, right? We took my dumb ass talking about fighting for some freedom I didn't have before I left this motherfucker. Mm. Come back home and white folks not only showed me that they didn't give a fuck about me, they told me they didn't give a fuck about me. Mm. And they're showing your black ass too. The question is when the fuck are you going to wake the hell up? Mm. See what I'm saying? I call it life masturbation. Get your finger out your ass and wake the fuck up. Mm. It's time to get real. Black folks are walking out your head so far, white folks ass. When they turn the corner, they have to turn like a fucking bus because your head is stuck up their ass. You need to keep your head to the sky. That's what Earth Wind and Fire tried to tell you, but you still ain't learned the lesson. You so busy shaking your ass, you can't get your mind in gear. That's what the problem is. You need to stop shaking your ass, stop shaking your mind, and stop shaking your behind and use your mind mm. for a change. Do you think Earth, Wind and Fire was before their time? Um, Earth, Wind and Fire was right on time. We just retarded this shit. Mm. <laughs> I'm serious, but that, that's the reason for that. That's not an accident. Our association with Europeans has not only affected us, it has infected us. Mm. That's mm. not mean you got your head up their ass. They're telling you every... Look, I think it was the last poet who said the best. The European has a God complex. Mm. You're the closest thing to God he has ever and will ever see. He hates God. He can't get his hands on God. That's why he's kicking the fuck out of you on a regular basis. Mm. But I'm saying, the only reason he does this is as Dr. Collis said, you have given them an opening. You've given them an opening. You close the opening and it changes. So, you know, it goes back to what I was trying to tell y'all about that, the, pro the process I wanna, want to occur on the new day, right? Because, see, the change can't come until we make it. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? We're sitting around waiting on something to come that you have to make happen. You're looking for a savior when it's you. You 